Good morning, everybody. It's 616 on a Wednesday morning. Beautiful morning out there. I just stepped outside looking out the back door. Still have some starshine out there. We'll start with some sunshine this morning, but it'll be filtered sunshine throughout the day because we'll have the high and mid-level clouds coming in here. This is the last of our 80 degree days. Unseasonably warm today. Probably not record high temperatures for a lot of us, but still into the 80s. Showers and storms are likely or at least possible tonight. They become likely as we get into tomorrow. Massive cool down. Still that third headline that we want to drive home as well this weekend. Look at our current temperatures. We're in the 60s at almost all locations and with the wind off uh, Lake Michigan right now. Right now, Muskegon is 70 degrees on the morning of October 4th, where we should be about 46 degrees, 47. Wow, what a huge difference out there of where we should be. If we look at live Doppler radar, we are dry. Your morning commute is going to be dry. Most of the afternoon looks dry as well, but we'll add satellite imagery and come out to a little bit wider perspective because this gives you a bird's eye view of what's going on. Remember that system that I talked about yesterday that was kind of parked out over the northern and central plains? Well, now that the high pressure area is moving into the northeast United States, that now opens up the door for this to progress to the east. So we're going to see some high and mid-level clouds move in here, cut our sunshine off today, remain mainly dry. There are some showers to our well to our south and west. Those may start to trickle in around the dinner hour, especially north and west of Grand Rapids. That becomes more likely overnight and then into tomorrow as well. Today, we'll call it partly cloudy to at times partly sunny, eventually turning mostly cloudy throughout the day. It's going to be breezy, still unseasonably warm, 83 for the high with a south to southwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. The better lake day was yesterday, not today, and here's why. From Holland southward, we have a moderate beach hazard risk, waves two to four feet there. North of Holland in the red, that's a high beach hazard risk. Waves are going to build three to five feet. Small craft advisories out for you boaters with the wind picking up out of the south and southwest at about 15 to 25 knots. Warm out ahead of this cold front, but you can see the cloud cover moving on in. Chances of showers around and after the dinner hour to the north and west of Grand Rapids. This is, shall we call, stage one because behind this cold Cold front. It turns cooler for tomorrow. Lots of cloud cover tomorrow. This is tomorrow morning. We've got a wave of some moisture rolling up in here. There could be some thunderstorm as, as well. That will clear out as we go into Thursday night. I think we pick up some sunshine on Friday, but it's going to be cooler behind that cold front. And later on Friday, we could start to see more showers in here. The secondary cold front is the one where the cold air is locked up behind that. Our forecast model is showing about an inch to an inch and a half of rain. Here's another forecast model, maybe a little more on the GFS model there uh, between now now and through the day on Saturday, you can see our precipitation chances really ramp up as we get into that showery, colder, blustery type pattern. So we're in the 80s today, 70 degrees tomorrow. Showers are likely breezy, 61 on Friday. Still some sunshine in here on Friday, but colder. And then the cold, blustery, windy conditions for Saturday and only in the 50s for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So we're going to drop down still another 30, 35 degrees from where we're at today. That's our forecast at 619. Rob has an update on traffic.